Uh, Time for Jacktober, Ant. <laughs> yes, I love Jacktober. Sam, who did you bring what to the table today? Yeah, what show is featured on today's Jocktober? Well, today we're going all the way to Portland, Oregon. Wow, Portland, Oregon. To listen to uh, Lee and Alana on KUPL, Couple. Couple. Yes. On the couple. Bringing you uh, some of today's best country hits. Ah. I did a phone in with them. Of course you did. You've probably been on every radio show ever, ever. Did you do them? I th- I was in Portland. On I was a playing country golf. station? Why yeah, you- they called me on the golf course when I was up in Portland. I was playing one day. I'm pretty sure. And it was just horrific. Ew, who is horrific. that? Is Who's that- Lee? Right. Lee? Alana, we know, is the middle. She looks like a house frau. I, I believe Lee is the older Lee's gentleman. Lee's the older gentleman with the uh, very round Charlie Brown head, the pure white Captain Kangaroo head. Uh, beard, mustache thing, and I'm not positive on what the head. what the young guy's name is, but he's just kind of there to bring it all back around for mix the mix it up people. a little, bring yeah. some younger demos into try to the, bring uh, the youth, and that's why yeah, we have yeah. you, Sam. Yeah, exactly. That's it's your like a whole family. Yeah, it's Lee and Alana, and then their child, <laughs> whoever the fuck that is. All right, let's get right into this. Lee and Alana sweeper that describes them to a T. Yeah, I figured, you know. Lee and Alana in the morning. Your missile defense system to protect you from boring morning radio. Your missile defense Defense system system. to protect you from morning. No, from boring morning radio. Boring morning. (laughs) 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 Then a nice jingle. Yeah. Wow. And I like the lasers. Good use of lasers. Yeah, yeah. lots (laughs) of lasers. I like their lasers. Lasers are important. Lee and Alana give the daily poll results and the best comment of the morning. Wait, wait, this... poll results? Mm-hmm. Another show that does a poll every well, morning. What they do, they have kind of stepped into what I call the future. They uh, have an internet website. What? What is that? It's uh, it's a, it's very complicated. That's we'll get into it in the technology. I segment. heard about that. It's like uh, it shows up on your TV screen. It's no, it's and, it's it's the computer screen. Oh, oh, your PC. All righty. And uh, and they ask a question. They type a question on their website and allow people to interact by answering. And they'll kind of give the results of what the people said on the internet website wow. as well as. The best comment of the morning. Best comment of the morning. Funniest. It's almost like line of the day. Exactly. Lee and Alana in the morning. Your missile defense system to protect you from boring morning radio. Nice. (laughs) I I like that. that. I like that. Boring. Boring. (laughs) I just want to dance with you. Cha cha cha. Cha cha cha. That is right. George Strait with Lee and Alana in the morning in New Country 987 KUPL. I just want to dance with you. It's 840 and it's time. You guys want to play What's Wrong with His Mouth? (laughs) (laughs) Wow. Can we get a quick sweeper, uh, D Boy? What's wrong with his mouth? (laughs) Cha cha cha. Is it dentures? What's going on with his mouth? Uh, It doesn't sound like he's talking over his dentures. (laughs) There's something going on. There is something. I just want to dance with you. Cha cha cha. Cha cha cha. That is right. George Strait with Lee and Alana in the morning in New Country 987 KUPL. I just want to dance with you. It's 840 and it's time for the Lee and Alana Daily Poll question results. That's right. We were asking you about NASA <laughs> semi <laughs> oh, <laughs> Fucking <laughs> NASA. Nah, you're a bunch of stinks. That's right. That's right. <laughs> he sounds like he's heat. He sounds like he's getting over a broken jaw. <laughs> His first day back after a broken jaw. <laughs> Can you imagine standing at the That's altar right. with her going, Did uh, I just say yes? I do. I do, Rich. I wrote my own vows. <laughs> oh, what a voice oh, on God. that one. Oh. Oh, That's right. That's right. I promise to love, honor, and cherish. Well, she's oh. a cold case file in 20 years. <laughs> cold case. Are you trying all your new material? No, right? that's, no, uh, no it's working. Watch no, that. No, it's really good. Material. I like the new stuff. <laughs> no, no. I'll examiner. tell you some new material later. All right. <laughs> Poll question results. That's right. We were asking you about oh. NASA sending a $79 million missile to the moon. They want to shoot our moon. Not out of the sky, but they just want to shoot it oh, really? and see what kind of <laughs> kicks up, whether it be water or ice or dust or 
Neil Armstrong or any of those things. No, so we <laughs> wanted to know at KUPL.com, what did you think would come out of it? The first question we asked was, what's your gut? Do you think they're going to find water on the moon in like two? Holy <laughs> wow. shit. Wow. That's the poll. <laughs> the poll question. Holy what do you think? shit. Yeah. What do you think they're going to find? They'll find water on the moon faster than they'll find humor in that studio. <laughs> it's devoid of humor. <laughs> They ought to drop the bomb in the studio, see what kicks up, and check it for humor. And they said Neil Armstrong? Yeah, yes. Yeah. He came back, remember? Yeah, I know. It's I mean, not still I there. Mean, the the, the not. joke would be maybe something Neil Armstrong left behind, like a duty or something. Yeah, Neil you know, Armstrong's... Some, whoa, oh, something. Opie, whoa. Oh, oh, dude. Oh, Opie, now. Oh. Now. Ew. That wasn't good, guys. Well, here's the thing. If that what happened. If somebody <laughs> cut that into just a quick sound bite, and they mm. go, you know... He just found yeah. his duty. His yeah, duty. Something. They find Neil Armstrong's duty or a load that he well, left. How about, yeah. No one knows he jacked <laughs> off yeah. on the moon. How about the, the towel he wiped wipe Buzz Armstrong's back with? <laughs> yeah. I, Bu- I love Buzz Armstrong. <laughs> I love how we. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Buzz Armstrong? <laughs> whatever. Who's yeah, of pay? course, whatever. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Buzz Lightyear. Yeah, right. <laughs> you mean Buzz Aldrin. Oh. Armstrong. You know what I was talking about. Yeah, yeah we got of course it. I did. Because I realized. How badly you <laughs> fucked up the name. I'm in that same category. I say that, <laughs> that a lot, too. So you know what I'm talking Buzz about. Buzz Armstrong. <laughs> I love how we uh, we expect uh, safe radio to be as edgy as us. Like they're not they're not going to be doing cum of jokes. Not. Yeah, I mean, we're part of Jack. We're mad because they're not doing cum and uh, duty jokes. You just stretch <laughs> Armstrong. <laughs> uh, here we go. PL dot com. What did you think would come out of it? The first question we asked was, "What's your gut? Do you think they're going to find water on the moon?" And like two out of three people don't think so. Uh, the best Literally comment of the morning goes to Diane, who said uh, they're going to find Bigfoot and his little green alien wife and long green hair children, and they're probably going to be singing it's five o'clock somewhere <laughs> that's, that's the best comment and that's what they laughed at holy shit number one joke of the morning that's no right way oh no wait was this garbage <laughs> that's, that's garbage that's line of the day oh. that was the funniest answer they got yeah from their callers was you know what bigfoot and an alien monster and the green and they're and, singing. And they need the somebody from the show and... Heroes that has a power to walk in that studio and make it funny. And kill like them. <laughs> More new material. It's terrific. That was. <laughs> that's good stuff. I just came out of my head. Okay, like, I used that one before you're once. You're updating yourself. <laughs> you're a pop. Updating. You're a pop culture yeah. comic now. I love it. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute, I'm cracker. <laughs> I'm looking like I like that natural. Okay, natural well. look. She You're just good. lonely. That ship has sailed. <laughs> more natural look there with the darker that hair. That girl's There's pretty. Something that, about that. That actress. That's a guy. <laughs> Rich. Who's that actress? A boy? That actress? <laughs> you out of your mind? You don't oh, think she's him. good looking? Yeah, he's hot. What do you hot. think of him? You think he has good abs, Rich? I think she he's Yeah. <laughs> Please, look how old and wrinkled. He looks like he looked into the ark. Oh, shit. That's oh, not a TV. She's Michelle oh. Monaghan. 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 Oh, the show Trucker? Right. What's that about? Trucker. She definitely listens to you guys then. Yeah, she's all right. Oh, she's very pretty. All right, why don't we go, uh, why don't we move on with Alana? Lee and Alana do some hilarious Canadian accents. I love Canadian accents. Hey, who doesn't Rich love Rich loves doing Canadian that. accents. It's a lot of fun. Anthony loves Canadian accents. Sure. It's so fun to joke Same about. Not so much. Eh? Uh, you just got to go, eh? eh? That's all you do is go, eh? Oh, yeah. Oh. Hey, I'm at work. <laughs> eh? Eh? You know they the are funny, a. I mean, is that what we get? A. Is that what we're gonna get a lot of a? Well, maybe they could teach you a thing or two All about right. it. Well, this is a learning experience. Let me Lee listen. And Alana. New Country 98.7 KUPL love story from Taylor Swift 8:59 with Lee and Alana in the morning, and we just heard from Carl Novice. He's been up at the zoo giving away tickets to where the wild things are. Our oh. sneak preview on Monday night. Uh, he called see, to uh, where the wild things are. Yeah, I loved. I'd love to be in that meeting with, <laughs> with, with a fucking machine gun. And the second the PD said, "We got a where the wild things are um, giveaway Promotion. for the movie that's coming out," and guess where we're giving them away? The zoo. Oh, because shit. that's where the wild. Th- put the gun away. Put the gun away. That's why you get the big bucks, sir. Ah, oh, I would. Are you at our sales meeting? Oh, really? Who you guys could pitch this, Jesus. Stuff? I would assume, based on the other things that I've heard that are not on the CD, that the deal probably was that they said that this guy is where the wild things are, 
If you can figure out where he is and find him, oh, you can get shit. tickets to the free... Yeah. The Bronx? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I hope you meant the Bronx Zoo. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's what I meant. Okay. Of course. Sam. I just want to make sure. Sam. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I was inappropriate. <laughs> how, how dare you, Sam? Anything, how dare you ever call me gay? You just went like that. Sam, you it, did. You did the gayest motion. Yeah, that's like, that's just like showing your abs and saying he is hot. It's, you're right, Rich. <laughs> you're right. It's a joke. And, yes, I'm a flaming homo. <laughs> no, you're not. Okay, but, that's isolated. <laughs> save that clip. <laughs> <laughs> Can we move on with this uh, this fine show? Mm, yes. I want to hear the Canadian accent. So do I. Take us to where the wild things are. Our sneak preview on Monday night. He called to, as the Canadians would say, tell us he is out. Oot. He's out. Oot. No more tickets. He's out. What a boot if I want to go to the wild things. <laughs> New Country 98.7 King. Of <laughs> <laughs> Another example of a, a, a male jock oh, wanting to punch shit. his co-host. Oh, I got to hear that. Can I please hear that again? I love, I love how it's so unfunny. He gives the chuckle and then just right back to the fucking music. He's out. Oot. No more oh. tickets. He's out. What a boot if I want to go to the wild things. <laughs> New Country 98. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 you just don't just stop laughing oh, like that. Oh, God, that is horrible. That was supposed to be Canadian? A boot? <laughs> what, what if I went to the boot? You sound like, you sound <laughs> like a, a Norwegian with Down syndrome. Yeah, that was <laughs> really it bad. Was, wasn't Canadian at Not all. Not at all. Wherever. That was more Canadian. Even he knew to punch out of that hmm. and just fucking. Yeah. Get back to the country music. You guys want to hear more? Oh, please. Lee and Alana? Yeah. He's saying Lonnie or something like that, though. Is that a little pet name he has for her? Oh, he, he Lana might call her Lonnie. Lonnie. You yeah. never know. Sometimes I feel like they're married. Yeah, you, you know? know? It's like, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, uh, they talk to a caller. Well, they have phone A topics. good morning show knows how to talk to their callers. Yes. About what people do to look cool, but in the end, they look dorky. And then Lonnie, mm -hmm. I feel like I could call her Lonnie now. We know her a little bit. Flies off the handle. She get, what? That's well, that's the thing. She gets, she gets a little wild. She's got a little sass What, is she it. on her period? Aww, whoa, okay. whoa, whoa, please. Be. I don't think that uh, it's been seen in a while. <laughs> what, what, is she old? bleeding from her cunt? Oh, there, come no. on. Oh, See, I could old. be crazy. The I'm old last, e last egg is dropped on that one, I think. <laughs> you think? Oh, yeah. Susie, what do you think? Midlife crisis sports cars. Yes! What? You don't think that makes them look cool? No! They can't handle the power. Have you ever been be- Ah, uh -huh, they're talking about Anthony. Oh. Uh -huh. What is this old dried up cunt uh -huh. saying? <laughs> what was the concept? The I faded things, out. Things that people do that they think looks cool- but really just makes him look like a big dork. Wow. You know, your Mustang, Midlife, your you know, Mustang GT you got it. Uh, that actually makes you look dorky. It's Shelby, uh, Shelby GT500, which is a super oh, snake now at 720 sorry. horsepower. <laughs> uh, it's just a beautiful automobile for somebody that appreciates beautiful automobiles. If I was going through a midlife crisis of that magnitude, I would get what they get, what people get, the, the vet. You're People pissing off the vet fans. The vet. No, what the you know fuck, what? Dude. They get the vet. Look, they like see, our show that's too. a fucking car right there. That's the fucking car. Yeah, that's my car. That's the one I have. Now yeah. that is, doesn't say midlife crisis. That says I wasn't able to have anything but a Chevy yeah. Nova when I was a kid. Yeah, but the teenager in the passenger seat says that says <laughs> midlife crisis. All right, I will agree with that. You know, Rich, I think you got a good night's sleep for once. Uh, we appreciate it. We appreciate you coming in here well rested for once. Rich is, Rich is tacking out, though. He's going to blow his motor. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm good. <laughs> I mean, you talk about how I'm sick all the time. I, one more time, I have to hear how tired you are, and I couldn't yeah, sleep. I've been killing the, the last five times blah, here. Blah, I blah, 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 blah. Go over the tapes the last five times. I've been on fucking tapes. fire. And I, God damn really? these fans, will they start coming out to see me? Jesus Christ. Yeah. Enough of this bullshit. Dummies. Seven fucking years? What the fuck? Three guys and the really two plus one? Yeah, big fat guys, right? No, not all Show bad. us your abs again. They're yeah, please. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, Thank you, Rich. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> they're not all What a treat. They're not, they're not show all Nicole fat. them. Huh? Next time Nicole walks by, show Nicole. Uh, uh, and I, I want her honest it. opinion. <laughs> You'll be able to know her opinion just by seeing her face. Oh, that, that's, that's her, her opinion. <laughs> 
All right, here we go. Smelly up the smelling up they the microphone. They don't stink. There's crack. Come on, Alana's ready to fly off the handle. Right, do you want to hear this or not? Yes. Susie, what do you think? Midlife crisis sports car. Yeah. Yes. You don't think that makes them look cool? No, they can't handle the power. Have you ever been behind one of them when they drive those things? It's scary. I don't nope. know. Jake and I rode with Lee. And he did pretty well behind the wheel. I have a nice little sports car. I'm 63 years old. Oh. I, I just happen to like sports cars. I know, but you're past your midlife crisis already. <laughs> Do you think I look like a dork in my Mustang convertible California oh, special he's GT? Got a Mustang <laughs> GT. Oh, no. He has the same I've car. been hung out to drive. He says the exact same thing. I just like this car, and he's got a Mustang convertible well, GT. I don't have a convertible. See, it's different. Yeah, totally. Convertible really says midlife crisis. Crisis. Why, but he has a GT. <laughs> is, no that, is that a Shelby? Is that what you have? No, it's, it's a GT. It's, in the family, it's like right? when a girl would drive the high school, right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, it's not yeah. a fucking Shelby uh, Super Snake. Hey, guys. Fuck, yeah, that's a regular car. Oh, that's, My sister has that, honestly, by that, the way. That, My sister has a, that car. It's a chick car, right? Yeah, it's secretary car. Hey, uh, guys, we have callers, and we interact with our callers, too. Woo. And they want to actually play along with another morning show's bit. Oh, yeah. all right. <laughs> Let's go with uh, Travis in New Hampshire. Travis. Uh, yeah, I'd like to take a stab at the uh, question of the day. Sure, which is what uh-huh. again? I forgot. Uh, what, what? Things people do to look cool, but they look dorky. Just like right. a big dork. Yes. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, hair plugs. <laughs> oh. <laughs> They're not plugs. They're individual follicles surgically uh, implanted from the harvest area uh, artistically in the direction your hair naturally grows. Let's go to Jeremy in Georgia. Jeremy. Hey, what's going on? Hey. Hey, uh, I've got the ultimate thing that will make you look like a dork as a midlife crisis statement. Mm -hmm. A shooting spree. (laughs) Nothing says I'm going to get these fuckers back like a shooting spree, but in essence, you just make yourself look like an asshole. Now you just ruin like a thousand billion people's lives. See how he's he's going and going, hoping to get traction, but... It's just. Well, no one's, there's only one way to solve this phone call. Yeah. Rich, show us your abs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! 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 I don't think. God damn, I got ones. Anyone else have ones? <laughs> I, <laughs> fixes everything. I don't think you've ever got a positive call on shooting sprees. No, really? never. Yeah, no, I mean, no. All right, here we go. Why don't we uh, continue? Because she's about to go off the handle. Yeah, she's going to go crazy. She's going to show a little edge right here. No, but you're past your midlife crisis already. (laughs) Do you think I look like a dork in my Mustang convertible California special GT? Um, you know what? Let's save that for another day. Whoa! Wait a minute. (laughs) Look what you started, ma'am. Sorry. I, it's like I, it's somebody gives me truth serum in the morning and I can't hold back. Yeah, I'm kind of the same way. <laughs> I love these shows that just keep it fun. My <laughs> good oh. gravy. But that's the thing. Oh, that God. That should have ended with a punch in the face. She uh, was getting a little sassy with him, though. Like, she, hey. knew, she knew to just uh, hold yeah. back in time, man. But that's yeah. why she's good on the radio because she takes, you know, a douse of oh, truth no. serum. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, oh, and she let it hey. out there. She's not holding back. Our listeners want to play. John, oh, Jersey. Right. John. Uh, what about fly fishing? Oh, uh, man. It's something people oh, do man. that looks really dorky. Well, I'm, uh, yeah. And uh, they think it's cool. Oh, man. I had fun. Yeah. <laughs> and you got sick. Yeah, with the trout flu. And, oh, gosh. We ready to move oh. on? When Bobby stepped in the water, did a tsunami hit? <laughs> he is gaining some weight back. What's Much that to about? everyone's pleasure. What's that about? Everyone, uh, you know, it's he so actually good. sat down as he ordered two breakfasts, Press, and then one so was good. a hungry man special, and was dreaming about being in his fifties with a really good body in shape with his wife walking down the beach. This is a story that I oh. unfortunately don't have on tape. And, uh, you know, I want to be one of those older couples where I look good with my shirt off, dude. I, I, you know, when I hit 40, I'm going to get get in shape. He's not 40 yet? Did, no <laughs> shit. That's what I thought, oh, wow. too. That's Did, bad. Didn't you just spend the last two years getting in shape, though? Yeah, he looked great. I didn't notice. Well, you said he gained weight. I, didn't, I haven't noticed. Mm. Well, a little bit back. You know, yeah, people tend to yo-yo a little bit. Yeah, really? You know, yeah. 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 The Oprah syndrome. He's, well, yeah. 
He's a, he'll be fine. Though. Everybody loved it, though. They're, they're like, oh, you lost so much weight. You look great. Can't wait till he gets it back. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah. Are we going to move on with this fine? Yes, yes, please. Yeah. Alana is one of my favorite. Lee Hobart. and Alana, or Alina, or Lonnie. I don't know. Lee and uh, the broad start the 10 second tirade. What's this about, Sam? This is oh. one, I mean. We if, might have to take this. This is what I'm saying. I like the name. We have the FU line, mm-hmm. they have their equivalent. They have the 10 second tirade. And I think, you know, I gave a whole bunch of examples. I think this is one that our listeners could latch on to as well. Mm, the 10 second tirade. But we need to let Lee and Alana really explain. Can we do the 10 second right. tirade on our show? Yeah, we can it's steal the docs, but can we do it? By the way, we did come up with the FU line. Almost every show now is doing it. So then do the Some not- do their own little version of it, I guess. But. Yeah, the 10 second tirade. All right. Do, yeah. uh, the- hey, 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 hey uh, Travis, clear the phones. We're going we're gonna to do the 10 second tirade in a little bit. Clear the field. Yeah, let- but you got to play along like they do. What is it? Well, let Leo Alana explain the rules in this okay. track. Oh, listen, okay. yeah. listen for the rules before you call our show. Of course. We do this every once in a while as a public service. And we call it a public service because, you know, it, they say that the best way to. Uh, Get something clear of your head. You know, something's really been bugging you. Is just to kind of get it out. Let it go, right? Mm. Don't hold on to it. Don't let the pressure build up. You know what's funny is uh, yesterday I was reading one of my little daily... As soon as you say, you know what's funny, you know know nothing funny is about to be said. Oh, funny story. (laughs) Uh, No. No. No, this is funny. Oh, my God. Uh, You know what's funny... Uh, not Pressure not what you know. What's funny is uh, yesterday sorry, I was sorry. reading one of my little sorry. daily devotionals, and it says the funny thing with a pet peeve. Sam, what's a daily devotional? Daily devotional. It's like a like an inspirational quote. You guys don't like before you come into work. There's not you don't have like a, some kind of calendar or something. Like tender sentiments. Sam, yeah. Linger longer. Sam, you got a you got a homework assignment. What's that? If you want to get a good grade in your college uh, class yeah, for yeah. your internship. Okay, technically I've been an employee for <laughs> over three years. <laughs> so, You're not an intern? No, no, no. That was, oh, shit. I'm yeah, sorry. Literally on the books for over three years. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Really? I, uh-huh. I still got to write up a nice a nice thing for your professor. So No, yeah. I mean, I've been out of school for that amount of time as well. Mm. Really? Yes, I graduated from college, Syracuse University, three years ago. Fuck, How's that get... working out for you? Well, I have, this is the job I have. Oh. This is gonna, where I'm employed. When are you going to finally shit. get a real job? Though? I thought you just showed well, up. No. <laughs> right. oh. No, that was, I did for a while, but then I got hired. Really? Oh, okay. Doing yes. what? Actually, this. I, 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 I get That's some clips. I'm an associate producer. Of what? The Obi and Anthony show. So oh, congratulations. This show. Sounds yeah. important. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. Actually, associate producer is the lowest title. Oh, you is could, it? Yes. An associate. Yeah, that would be the yeah. lowest title. You Executive, could. sounds like. Hi, yeah, much higher than me. At and least you're starting to get the impression that we should maybe pay more attention to what's going around. Yeah, nah. Us. Nah. Who right. gives a shit? Yeah. <laughs> fucking show up and I'm out of here with cartoon fucking character smoke behind me. <laughs> oh, uh, I, I want, what, what, what was it called? Uh, Daily Devotions. All right, Sam, this is your homework assignment okay. for the extra credits for your college class. Mm-hmm. I want a daily... Devotion calendar in this studio by tomorrow Daily morning. devotion. Done. Hold on, I might have one in my bag. She re- <laughs> and then he goes, no, like I thought he did. <laughs> right. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I have one in my bag. No, I really don't. <laughs> might have someone under my shirt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Danny. Fucking abs. Danny. Just... fucking K. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Rock solid abs. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Jesus. <coughs> you know, I just got a thought. It. This is gonna. This is how it's gonna be like when we're in an old age home someday. This, yeah. This is pretty much what they do. This is it. But we could say good morning Point. to the river <laughs> and good night every night to the, <laughs> the river. river. We're hanging with some beautiful friends right now. Four ladies at the dinner table who became beautiful friends. <laughs> Shut up. Get in the coffin. You fucking talk about what burdens you are. All right, let's get into the... The 10-second tirade. Oh, right. So. Ah, thank you. Of course. Is, uh, yesterday, <laughs> I was reading one of my little daily devotionals, and it says, the funny thing with a pet peeve is that people tend to pet it a lot. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I thought that was pretty Not good. Yeah. We got our 10-second tirade clock ready? You Not bet. Pet. You ready? You mind if I... Uh, I mean, it is our show... Is it okay if I go ahead and do one? Yes. Yeah, 10 uh, seconds. But ready? remember, the rule is once it's done, no, it's put a done. smile on your face. All right. Yes. All right, what? Wait, wait, wait. Okay. What's going All right, on what? What's going on with that guy? It's like the FU line. Right. 
but it's limited to 10 seconds. 10 second tirade. It's done live. You okay. kind of get off whatever's on your mind, whatever you're Wait. frustrated with. Wow. Okay. But the rule, the main rule here is that and once. Remember, our listeners got to listen closely. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Once you're done, once your 10 second tirade is over, yeah. you need to end with a smile. How do you end with a smile? It's because, off, because it's off. You know your, what? It's off your mind. It's off your mind, off your chest, and now you you can finally smile. And you know what? It's because it's not a feel bad thing. No, no, no. This no. is not negative, Opie. It can't be negative because no. they probably went through this too with the PD. <laughs> they sat down <laughs> and went like, "We're gonna do the ten second tirade." It's like, what's that? Well, we got this thing where people just vent and yell about things that they're not happy with, and then the PD goes, "You know." I'm, it just seems too angry. It's not a fun... See, we do a fun show here. <laughs> what if when they're done, they've had so much weight lifted off of them that now they're smiling and happy? See, we've turned it around. Put down the knife! <laughs> Wait, you fucking l- losers, the program directors. Wait, but no one's saying... When she say, you know what the thing about pet peeve is you pet it once in a while? And yeah. they all go, that's funny. Yeah. That, like, that's funny... Could you imagine him and her in the front row at the virus shows? Okay, if they thought that was funny. Oh, how how great they would have thought like Louis C.K. was or or Patrice. Some (laughs) tells me that's not quite their cup of tea. But those guys are a little negative. I think a little negative and a little a little blue. Mm. Yeah, they have a little blue, as they say. Why can't they be funny without cursing? You know, I I don't understand that. There's no need for the cursing. It's um, it's the easy way out. Yeah, really, what it is. Yeah, lowest common denominator. Oh, fuck up. Uh, Larry King's checking in. It. Oh, Larry King. He's always on topic. Larry, what do you got? <laughs> I have my ten second tirade. Yeah. <laughs> I like the way little boys' toes smell after they walk through my shit. <laughs> Are, Are you, you smiling? smiling? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Larry's smiling. Larry's smile. always on topic. Thank you, Larry, for always being on topic. Oh, Go with that, people. I just set you up for a nice uh, bit that we could ride for the next couple of weeks. <laughs> a couple okay. of weeks, yes. Just go with that one. You know, Larry King yeah, on great. topic always. Okay, and that'll be the, uh, <laughs> the punchline to that bit. Yeah. Here we go. The 10 second tirade. New one? Yes. Yeah, 10 uh, seconds. But ready? remember, the rule is once it's done, no, you no. put it's a done. smile on your face. Right. Yes. Once it's done, the rule is you have to put it in my hiney. No. Yeah. Oh, there please. is a bit of a you hiss to... <laughs> to his S's. There seems to be a bit of a hiss to his S's. He's just the happy to is. be there. Yeah. Probably goes around showing his abs to everybody on the show. <laughs> yeah. Talking about how hot Stanley T is. Yeah. Boy, I sure wish someone would show their abs. Oh, <laughs> Jesus, I'm that guy. Yeah. 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 Wow. wow. Woo. <laughs> Do the bit. <laughs> Do the bit. I mean, you can see how a white girl can fall for him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you want, <laughs> that could be my new Starbucks store. I'll walk down the street and just just show your abs. I would love to get reaction shots from the ladies you know as what? you just show your abs. I got my flip right after the show. We go to Times Square. That would be really We're good. We're doing Rich Voss showing strangers his abs, and, and just we get do the it reaction today. shot yeah, of the the today. ladies, the young ladies. It'll be up on my YouTube see, channel later. I want to see Opie twenty-five. Radio. Faces of uh, yeah. girls one going, after another. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sam, you want in? Uh, oh, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll do a little filming after the show today. Yes. All right. Hey, here we go. Yeah. Ten second tirade. Remember, Ready? the rule is once the it's done, is, you put a done. smile on your face. Oh, right. Yes. Ready? Several weeks ago, I, my hot water heater went bad and leaked all over my garage. And by the time I got it fixed, it cost me eleven hundred dollars. Eleven hundred dollars for a water heater? Are you kidding me? What's going on? Out okay, there? smile okay. now. Smile. Happy. I, I've, Happy. I've been wanting to do that seriously. That's good. I haven't had anybody to talk to because my wife is in Arizona oh. and we'll be there for a month. So. I'm oh. like, oh, I need somebody to vent to. That felt good. Don't say anything bad. She's not a public figure, and we could get in trouble for Fuck, that. Fuck, I had a great line, <laughs> I, I you know motherfucker. You I know you Can did. I at least write my line I down? I saw you Can I at least write my line down? Dude, I the saw you in Arizona with the wind-up. Oh, I saw goodness. you with the fucking wind-up. And that, by the way, is one of the most um, common things that jocks do that get them in trouble, is ragging on the... Um, not public eye wives of other jocks. Are you allowed to at least write something down? You can write it down. I want to fucking, I want to see it. But 
Yeah, you gotta watch that. His tie rate was he paid eleven hundred for a water. Eleven hundred for a water heater. Probably it's not that's not bad. That's that's a good deal. Installed? <laughs> installed, really? Yeah, come on. Is it installed? My tie rate is he hasn't given me the number of the person that installed it for that price. <laughs> for that's that my price. tie rate. Mm. <laughs> that's all. <old. laughs> I'm, I'm still writing, by the way. That isn't bad. Why yeah. is he fucking pissed? Yeah. The well, water not... heater goes. If it was a brand new water heater, I could see him p- be pissed, but it didn't sound like that. Hey, you're concentrating on the wrong thing. The, the, what was I? What am I? The whole <laughs> thing is he's not pissed anymore. Let's oh, think of it that way. It's a tirade. Okay, he's right? not pissed. Okay, here's here's All what. Right. What, what was the setup he... again? <laughs> his wife is in he, Arizona. He had right, no right. one to vent to because his wife is in Arizona. I was joking. Take off your rainbow oh, shoes. I was joking. Fucking D boy rules. All right, what was the setup again? Uh, that he had no one to vent to because his wife is in Arizona. And he was venting about the water heater and all yes. that, Yes. Right? Okay. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <You know. laughs> I don't know if he's doing that. <laughs> well, I just that thought would be, um, it's, it's, I just did a translation joke. That would be something that uh, uh, one of the Ten Commandments uh, say you shouldn't ah, do. Ah, of course. Yes. Mars! Hi, Mars! Hey, Mars! Hey, Mars! Mars, is hey, here. Mars. Da, 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 da. That's your it's competition Mars, today, Rich. Mars. Right after you the can, October bit. You can't make uh, uh, an opinion hey, Mars, can you do about Rich somebody Boss? that's not... No, no, because it's usually not an opinion. Uh, a lot of jocks have gotten in trouble in the past. We when have they never, get in, by the way. When they get in battles with other DJs, and then they go for the wife or kids of the DJ who aren't public figures. The jock is a public figure. Yeah. So you could say, oh, that guy looks like he'd love to suck on a big fucking cock. Uh-huh. You could say that. But you can't start picking on the wife or children. Then you but get into if, that what if, area. What if the other jock uses their wife or spouse or whatever as on a, the air? Uh, talks about them all the time. Then, then, then they are a public figure. Argument. Then there's an argument that it could be a public figure and uh, that case, those cases sometimes have been won yeah. uh, by other jocks. They've said, yes, she is a public figure. Uh, an occasional call on the air doesn't merit that. If they become like a character on the show, yep. uh, uh-huh. then there's a problem. I don't know what the relationship is there. I don't know if she's on this program, we so yeah. I'd rather err on the side of safety we, we, and keep my job. We study this shit. Trust me, we study yes. this shit. Yes. People okay, think yes. we're just stupid. Nope. But, qu- but we actually um, uh, nope. have studied uh, FCC uh, law. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Rich. <laughs> enough. In other words, shut the fuck up. I'm trying to learn. I don't want to make your mistake. You can't, you can't go off you know uh, like you do about your own wife. <laughs> and I'm going to have a tweet later on today that's going to make no sense to anybody. Just want to say that. <laughs> Very good. Perfect. Opie Radio on Twitter. Just a tweet out of Just nowhere that, tweet. like, what the fuck is this? Has he lost his fucking mind? I, can, don't, I don't know what this means. You can tweet whatever the fuck you want. <clears throat> How's that computer working for you, Dan? Oh, I see Danny. Did. Danny's ready to stick his head through a monitor. All I keep seeing is that error thing and the, the Windows thing that never really shuts the program down. I, keep th- <laughs> like, I, I honestly thought about just taking the tower out and like how much it would cost to just replace the tower. Because I really just wanted to take it and just smash the shit, like office space, when they yeah. take the fax machine into the yeah. field. Yeah. Like, I really, I thought about seriously doing that about 25 seconds ago. I put 223 rounds right through one of my computers. No, you I was so no, angry. At, the, at a, a range, at a, yeah. sa- a safety that of a range. I brought it down to the range. Yeah, that you did. And I uh, unloaded on it uh, because I was at very angry at the computer. At this the program uh, is not responding. So why don't you hit end now, Danny? Oh, or why don't you have a end ten, now? Why don't you do a 10 second uh, tirade uh, about it? Hang on. Let me <laughs> oh, hit end. Oh, oh, you want smile. a 10 second tirade you with a smile? Yeah, Danny, and then you got to smile afterwards. <laughs> All right, stand up for your right, 10 the second tirade. has got a mat. Danny's doing the 10 second tirade. You know what? I'm going to even make sure I get the most out of my 10 seconds by I, timing it. I'm gonna, I'm I'll gonna, time it. I got a big clock in front of me. He's got a clock and I got the bell. All right. Hold on. I'll tell you when to go. We're going on the three. We're going on the three. And go. This fucking computer. The computer never works. It crashes every day. Like five times a day, I got to reboot this fucking thing. It never works when I need it to. I have to restart it all the time. I want a new computer. Wow. Now smile. Oh, yeah. 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 smile. It's okay, smile. guys. Everything's it's okay. Fine now. Does that feel good, smile. Danny? In his vulgar he tirade. He smiled. You feel that felt good? A lot of cursing. It was it 10 did. seconds. I think they something. Yeah, it feels really better now, right? It's oh, good, look, right? and the computer started working. Hey, yeah. computer works. All positivity. <laughs> Yeah, that's what this show's about. I was, I was joking about the uh, mouth thing, but the D-Boy m- came up with the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking D-Boy. D-Boy rules. Fucking D-Boy. Boy! 
What is wrong with this guy's mouth? It's what us. is wrong with it? <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> D-Boy, was D-Boy out drinking last night? I hope so. I hope so. D-Boy what? rules. It, it was Wednesday. Of course he was. Yeah. <laughs> it was only Wednesday last night? I think so. Oh, shit, I thought it was Thursday. Fuck. No, today's Thursday. Got another day of this bullshit? It's yeah, going to be a good show. But and tomorrow's Friday. That's true. See? Plus, we got Lita Ford today. And I hear Monday's a holiday, right? It is? <laughs> What's Monday? Monday's like, what, Columbus Day or something? One of those days we never get off. I think we but already, everyone else does. It's got to be a Jew holiday. Quorum. <laughs> oh, God. Now, oh, God. Dumb Jew holiday. Jack's hey. telling me that Monday's Canadian Thanksgiving. Oh, is it? By the way, every night's Quorum for me. <laughs> get it? <laughs> Quorum, just keep them. Yuck. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'd rather hear that. This stupid bird has asthma. <laughs> stupid birds. All right, you want to go back to this? Uh, what are they? Yes. What are we in the middle of? The 10-second ten ten tirade. tirade. Oh, right. Because the audience, their audience loves the 10-second tirades. It gives uh, them a chance to get what's on their mind off their They get chest. involved. They get to be a little radio star yeah. for uh, 10 seconds. And they Sounds get great. to bring in some positive vibes, get the negativity off. Yes, yes. Cameron, all right, the rule is once 10 seconds is up, you got to put a smile on your face, all right? Okay, no problem. Ready, set, go. I hate how I haven't been called out for work yet. I fight forest fires, and I've yet to be called out. But isn't that kind of good? No. I mean, no work is bad, <laughs> oh. but no forest fires are good. Yes. But I get the frustration. Yes. How about this, Cameron? I have a ton of weeds in my backyard. If I lit those on your fire, underwear. would you be willing to come extinguish them? Yes. All right. Smile because... on your face, Cameron. With... What? what? Why? <laughs> smile on your face, Cameron. They didn't call you him out. can't wait to get his sucked. catchphrase out there. They didn't call the caller out that what? his fucking tirade stunk. Yeah, what's wrong with being honest if you do a radio show? He couldn't Just do a little bit. He couldn't hit 10 seconds. Yeah. And, and it was just a stupid one. Well, Anthony, this is why your criticism of it is not good because. Oh, sorry, maybe I should smile. What's that was yeah? A what's for positive me. about what you just did? You're right. You know, you're right. I should be more positive. Are We're not there. Ten are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? To rods. What? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Ten second tirade. We rip it nope, off. We got to turn this thing around because that was there. a bad little fucking audio clip right there. Yeah, it was. Are you, you thinking sure? what I'm thinking? What? Are you thinking yes. what I'm thinking? Apparently yeah. not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then do it. <laughs> Oh, yeah! Wow. Rich's yeah. abs! Boss's Woo. abs. Woo. Wow. Thank you, Rich. Thank you. Damn. Here's how you gotta really do it. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Just stop. <laughs> he says, here's how you really gotta do it. Oh. Then he backs off all the way to the door so we get a better look. <laughs> I'm at the point of shaving my chest again. That's how good they look. And my stomach. <laughs> oh, my God. God. <laughs> <laughs> that is horrific. <laughs> Matter of fact... If you guys can get me one of those, uh, what you want us to oil you up? Power, uh, <laughs> what a power yeah, razor, a razor, and a yeah. Razor. I think I Voss masturbates in the mirror. Yeah, oh, you must. <laughs> if you do that, it's a sign of split personality. I think I talked about that before. I think he comes yes. on his stomach with Rogaine. <laughs> you got a hairy, hairy abs. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, we got to hurry up because the big Lita Ford interview is almost upon us. Oh, fuck. Whoa, whoa. I forgot about that. Brad the second gives... I start having fun, I remember that. We in. still got to do the Mars thing, too. Are, the, are, are you guys ready with that? I think so. All right, good. What are uh, you doing with Mars? You and Mars going at it. At what? How are we doing it? See who can pronounce the celebrities. celebrity uh, names. Names, yeah. You know how good uh, both of you are at that. Yeah. Oh. You're going to do good. I'm not worried about this one. Uh, Brad gives his 10-second tirade. Or Tarod. Brad, have you got a 10-second tirade? Yeah. Now remember the rule. After you're done with your 10 seconds, you must put a smile I on know. your face. All right. Okay, on your mark, get set, go. I'm so sick and tired of people taking vacation when we're shorthanded and the inventory is coming up and your boss is mad. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. What kind of inventory? Oh, uh, uh, too bad. Count, the counting <laughs> comment. I want to ask a question at the buzzer. You're not. She's like, oh, too bad, really? Great. The, the, the person gets ten. Inventory? The person gets ten seconds. He used about half of it. You're asking a question that takes five seconds. That like he can't answer. He can't answer. Ten, ten seconds is out. And then she, she goes, oh, too and bad. And she wanted to know what kind of inventory he's doing. 
Yeah, to bring everybody in. That is exciting stuff. Yeah, inventory. Oh, oh too bad. <laughs> I want to ask a question at the buzzer. You're not allowed to answer. Do you feel better, Brad? Do you feel like you got it off your chest? I do feel better. I just wish the guy that was on vacation was in uh, Oregon so he could hear this. Oh, well, that might not be so pleasant than when he comes back. <laughs> oh, Holy shit. God. You just fucking die. Oh, it's, oh, it's, <laughs> we're part of the same business. I get so no. fucking pissed when I go home. Oh. Who the fuck's listening to that? Now smile. (laughs) (laughs) Anytime anytime a radio host, any of them, don't use the voice they use off the air, on the air, it's going to be horrible right from the beginning. Yeah. You don't use your real voice. Yeah. We try. No, no, you, you know what I'm saying. He's yeah. doing that fucking radio. I, I, yeah, he's got the big radio voice where they're, uh, they have to talk like something's wrong with their mouth. It was, I don't know what it is. It just sounds you to say, me. What did you say? It, I, well, it sounds to me like as he talks, there seems to be something uh, wrong with this gentleman's mouth. I don't understand it. What is wrong with this guy's mouth? It's what us. is wrong with it? Jeez. That was a stretch. <laughs> <laughs> Took a while. It's like to the comics up, from yeah. the '80s that talked with a high Seinfeld voice. So you ever know? That's how uh, they the, did in the, the Seinfeld 80s. thing. The high pitched yeah. fucking punchline voice. Are you watching? And Kirby? why do they put that in the way? <laughs> All right, the deli- the, st- the the staccato delivery. Are you watching uh, uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm with the yes. Seinfeld thing? Holy shit! Is that well written? Well Very written. Good. The cast has um, they've made their appearance. It's a reunion without a reunion. It's uh, yeah. perfect. This past Sunday, know. the whole cast of Seinfeld made their appearance on. Uh, oh, yeah. I got to get it. Fucking on great! That Larry David, Jesus. I know. All right, it's here we fun. go. Uh, a lot of people. Danette gives her t- tirade. She has two, oh, <clears> but she's got to fit them in ten seconds. Uh, are, are they going to tell her that? Oh boy. Who's this? This is Danette. Danette, did you have something you need to get off your chest? <laughs> I have two quick things I want to get off my chest. Oh, two. Oh. Okay. Well, well five I, seconds. Oh, the Sloan, <laughs> oh, no. At the Sloan Kettering Hospital? Oh, oh. <laughs> it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Sorry. Oh, boy. Maybe she's confusing the two. Oh, boy. <laughs> Sorry. I felt bad. Well, two things just, she wants to get off her chest. Yeah, mail it to us so these sick fucks can make a, a promo about it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, Who's this? This is Danette. Danette, did you have something you need to get off your chest? <laughs> I have two quick things I want to get off my chest. <laughs> oh, two. Jeez. Okay. Jeez. Well, but, but five seconds each. You hear her? Oh, two. Ooh, oh, oh two. boy, oh. I don't know what we do. Uh, what do we do? Wow. Oh, oh, two? Because you don't want to say no. You don't want to yeah, say you can't. That's negative. But yeah. she's so confused. Oh, two? But it's I'm going to get off yeah. my chest. Oh, two. Oh, okay. Two. Well, but, but five seconds five each. Seconds each. <laughs> yes. yes. You got five seconds each. Here you go. You ready? On your mark. Get set. Go. Okay, do not. Ha- I don't smoke. Don't hang your cigarette out the window because I can still smell it. And P.S. Don't flick it out the window when you're done with it. And secondly, don't pull out in front of me and then flip me off because you're mad that I'm on your tail. Ooh. Oh, nice. Good yeah. done. Both excellent ones. Oh, Let me see those pearly whites. Beautiful. Ah, good girl. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? I'd rather get a prostate exam than what? <laughs> and listen to this. this and I hate show. prostate exams. This is a <laughs> great show love for Jack Tober. You love them, you fucking sick fuck. <laughs> great show for Jack Tober. Like I love them. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite Jack Tober 09 show so far. Yeah, it's not bad. This is a good one. Yeah. And then the final uh, clip today, Mike gives his final 10-second tirade. tirade. Wait for the smile, kids. Who's this? Hi, my name's Mike. Mike, go ahead with your 10-second tirade. I absolutely cannot stand when everybody's piled up in the right lane and you have to turn right. Yes. There's always that one person left in the right lane that stops you from turning right. That's when you walk (laughs) up to their window and you go, excuse me, what are you doing? (laughs) Try that in the Bronx. Excuse, Excuse me, you. what are you doing? <laughs> uh, driving, dummy. <laughs> Excuse me. This is not a show. Wow. If you were in Portland, Oregon, this is yeah. not a show you would listen to? <laughs> no. Oh. No. 
I'd not... rather collect kitty porn. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'd rather, I'd rather be arrested. For, I'd rather be arrested. Right. I'd rather take the chance on collecting kitty porn wow. than listen to this shit, Sam. <laughs> wow. I'd rather be in the general population of a prison <laughs> right. after a child abduction and After murder. they grab my hard drive. Yes. <laughs> wow. Yes. All right. Jeez. Smile, everybody. <laughs> yeah, <that's>, smile. <laughs> Why smiles? Why smiles? Because that makes it all positive now. Why well, wearing a tattoo of a swastika with a circle swastika. and a line through it? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. You got that one? No, swastika. Swastika. I said swastika. Uh, swastika. Uh, all right, well, can you imagine that this is all you have in bumper to bumper traffic? Portland. Ooh, I feel bad. Ooh. Thank God for Sirius XM satellite radio taking yeah. over the nation. Yes, you don't have to pushing all these bad shows out. Crap. You don't think these Slowly guys are getting a deal? Fuck no, Sam. Uh. Oh. I mean, if they're making a living, God bless them. But Jesus, that's right. Smile. 